our next guest is someone who you'll probably recognize from a whole bunch of movies. Uh, he is a climate activist, a, a climate champion, has been pushing for environmental issues for quite some time. And I'm really excited to have with us the incredible Mark Ruffalo. How are you, Mark? I have to unmute. Hey, I'm great. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I, lo I love what you're doing. And uh, I want to love up on all you guys just for, for being here, for taking the time, for caring, for um, putting the time in and, um, and, and, and being, um, being informed, uh, yeah. knowing about these issues. Uh, you know, I come from a generation where we didn't, we didn't, we only knew music, you know, um, we didn't know really the political scene. And what's happening with you and at this moment and the world is this kind of um, this great coming together uh, under, under values that we all share. Um, and there's probably a lot more in common between us and even the people on the other side of the aisle than any of us really want to um, admit to or believe or understand. Um, and, and, and what's kept us apart, uh, is, is, is these arbitrary ideologies that, um, political parties are pushing. And, um, but when we, when we're with each other and we, we talk to each other and we listen to each other, we really want to have a fair world. We want our kids to be safe. We want our streets to be safe. We want everyone to have the same opportunities. And that's what our movement is about. Um, and that's why this moment is so important because, you know, I've been uh, politically active for, for decades now. And I've been pretty up on it, you know, I, I, I've, I've kept in it, but there's never been a moment where so many people are working together in one unified way, even though so many of us have differences. And we have a chance. There's never been so many politicians. I mean, they swore in the most diverse, the most sexually um, uh, uh, diverse and balanced. I mean, we still got a ways to go. Um, Congress in history. Uh, we have our first Native American woman, who's um, Deb Holland, who's who's going to lead the the department that is in charge of the well-being of Native American people. This finally. is finally, and and I'm telling you, you, this is a moment. This is this is a one in a million moment that we're fighting for. And, and, it's, and it's, this is just a comma on this movement. And we are part of this tradition that has been happening for 30, 40, 50 years. And, and you are the crown jewel of that movement. Our ability to talk to each other in this direct way is the, is the manifestation of democracy in action with, a, with an informed politic. Yes. And the people who we can, we can give power to right now have never had power in the political scene in the entire lifetime of this nation. Yep. And that's what we're fighting for today. That's why you're phone banking. That's, that's why we're all here. That's why it's important. We can have the floor in a way that is the most progressive, most diverse way that has ever been in the United States by winning the Senate mm -hmm. and by, by what you do tomorrow in, in Georgia and, yeah. and how we can convince people now on these phone banks and text banks. Yeah, no, I think Mark, you're absolutely right in that there's so much energy and power and, and love and support and unity in this movement that's been building for years that we've been really, I mean, I've been an organizer since I was literally like a ninth grader in high school, you Beautiful, know, and, and back then it was before climate was the cool thing to do. And now here we are right now on the Zoom call with you and your shirt says no more fossil fuel. Money. That's right. Like that is legendary. 
And I, I think that's exactly the right ethos is, is that we're not here spoiled by dark interests. We're not here spoiled by some future that is dictated by the powers that be. We are here taking that power into our own hands and determining what the future looks like for all of us. So thank you so much for all you've done in this movement to help push and organize and get out the vote. I, I feel like you're such an environmentalist and you're all into going green that I feel like that's the reason why the Hulk is green. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is. <laughs> there you go, Absolutely. Fiend, have it confirmed. Um, the Hulk is green for climate, so. <laughs> that's right. Thank you so much. And he's much. been green a long time because this yes, has been has. a long time coming. And here we are. Being green. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. I'm so proud of you. I, I appreciate you. I, I, everything about you. I see all the different people and sex um, identifications and, and colors and all the things that make this life exciting and beautiful and amazing. And I'm so grateful for you and I love you. And no matter what happens tomorrow, we keep marching together. We are not stoppable, okay? We are, we are the future, you are the future and the future is bright and promising. Yes. I love you. Love you too, Mark.